Hello and welcome to High Security's SlideSmart DC installation video. SlideSmart DC is a powerful, ultra-reliable, price-competitive, 24-volt commercial slide gate operator. Its industry-leading battery backup system provides uninterruptible, fully functional operation during AC power loss. This 19-minute video will guide you through the simple installation of SlideSmart DC plus highlight user benefits such as attaching the target magnet which maintains open and close limits, setting the independently adjustable open and close gate speeds, and programming a multitude of options to suit your customers' needs. Open the box and remove the ship with kit which contains the SlideSmart DC installation manual. Inside the manual, the quick start guide provides step-by-step -step installation instructions. To fully utilize all aspects of the SlideSmart DC operator, we highly recommend that you read the manual. Valuable information includes operator and pad dimensions, chain and target installation, SmartTouch DC programming, accessory connections, maintenance, and troubleshooting. Before installing SlideSmart DC, first verify that the site is ready. Manually roll the gate to the full open and full close positions. The gate should be level and roll smoothly. If it doesn't, fix any issues with the gate or gate hardware before installing the SlideSmart DC operator. Make sure the pad is, at minimum, 19 inches wide by 20 inches long. The conduit should protrude two inches above the pad. The job site in this video shows a left-handed pad-mounted configuration. Consult the manual for other installation configurations such as a base riser, post-mounted, or rear-mounted operator. In addition to the manual, the ship with kit contains the UL325 required warning signs, wire ties, keys to secure the cover, and the target magnet assembly. Wire tie the warning signs in the center of the gate on both the secure and public sides. Return to the operator and prepare to remove it from the box. Do not use the key latch to remove the cover. Instead, use both hands to lift the cover up and away from the chassis. Bent sides on the chassis serve as excellent lift handles. Get assistance to lift and transport the SlideSmart DC operator. It weighs approximately 60 pounds. Remove the chain kit box from the side of the operator. Center the operator on the concrete pad and adjust its position so it runs parallel to the gate. Measure the distance from the outermost portion of the gate to the center of the idler wheels. The distance should be 3 inches, plus or minus a quarter inch. Mark the hole locations for anchors, and then lift the operator off the pad. Hammer drill four half-inch holes in the middle of the marked slots. Vacuum the dust out of the drilled holes. High Security recommends half-inch UNC anchor bolts three and a half inches long to secure the operator to the pad. Insert the anchor bolts and pound them into place with a mallet. Place the operator over the anchor bolts. Rearrange the conduit and wiring as necessary. Remeasure the distance to the idler wheels and make sure the operator is parallel to the gate. Attend to any final adjustments and then install the washers and nuts. Tighten the hardware to secure the operator to the pad. To set a good earth ground, Drive a solid copper 5 8 inch diameter, 10 foot long rod into the ground within 3 feet of the operator. Connect the rod to the chassis ground lug with a single length of unspliced 6 gauge copper wire. Check with your local jurisdictions for additional requirements. All grounding must be completed in accordance with the National Electrical Code and NFPA regulations. Opening the chain kit, you will find roller chain, connector links, bolts and hardware, plus brackets intended for welding to a steel gate. The gate in this video is aluminum, so we will use bolt-on brackets which can be purchased as an option through high security. Push the gate fully open. 
There should be at least six inches between where the bracket mounts and the idler wheel. One installation trick is to use a pipe as a guide to align the bracket with the bottom of the idler wheels. Clamp the bracket to the vertical gate support. Verify the bracket's mounting slot aligns with the bottom of the idler wheel. Using the bracket as a guide, drill two 7 16 inch holes through the support post. Secure the bracket with the mounting bolts. Note that if this were a steel gate, you would weld the bracket at the same position on the vertical gate support. Measure the bracket height, and then locate the other bracket at the same height on the opposite end of the gate. Repeat the same clamp, drill, and bolting process. Attach the eye bolts to the brackets. To make it easier to tighten the chain later, maximize the thread exposure on the operator side of the bracket. Feed the chain over the idler wheels and over the sprocket. Attach the chain to the eye bolt with a connector link. Make sure the retaining clip is engaged properly. This might be an obvious step, but if the chain is too long, you'll need to cut it. For best results, use a chain breaker tool as shown. If too short, High Security sells additional chain and connector links as an option. Once the desired chain length is created, attach the other end of the chain to the opposite bracket. Improper chain alignment will cause unnecessary wear to the operator and gate hardware. The chain should run horizontal to the ground and parallel to the gate. Adjust the operator or chain bracket positions if necessary. Evenly adjust the eye bolt nuts at both ends of the gate to remove chain sag. Avoid over tightening. The chain should sag approximately three inches from its anchor points. No more, no less. Slide the plastic cover away from the control box. Make sure the DC power switch is in the off position and then connect the red battery wire to its spade terminal. Turn the DC power switch on. When you apply power to SlideSmart for the first time, the display prompts you to program the usage class followed by gate handing and gate weight settings. The select Next and Previous buttons are used to select options and navigate through the display settings. When the Usage class appears on the display screen, press Select. The characters blink and indicate changes to the Usage class setting can now be made. Press the Next button to scroll through the Usage class settings 1 through 4. When the desired setting appears, press Select to accept the value. The UL Usage class is now programmed. Press Next to scroll to the Gate Handing setting. Follow the same easy steps for the remaining two gate settings. Set the gate weight. When you finish configuring the three settings, the initial programming is complete. The operator is now ready to learn limits. To set the open and close limits, take the following steps. Hold the open button until the gate reaches the full open position. If the open position isn't ideal, you can press close to reverse direction. Release the open button. Press stop twice to store the open stop location in memory. Hold the close button until the gate slides to the full close position. Press stop twice. The full close stop is retained in memory. Gate closed now appears on the display. 
no AC power flashes if the AC power has not been connected or the lower power switch is turned off. Alert 15 flashes until the target magnet is installed and its location stored into memory. With the open and closed limits set, you need to install the target magnet on the chain. If both AC and DC power are lost at the same time, SlideSmart DC uses the magnet as a reference point or target to re-establish limits. The following steps describe the simple procedure of installing the important target magnet. SlideSmart DC has two target sensor locations, one for right-hand gates and one for left-hand gates. The sensor used in either application is the one closest to the trailing edge of the gate. With the gate closed, mark the chain link directly across from the target sensor which is located on the idler bracket. Press the open button to move the chain a few feet and then press stop. Find the mark on the chain link and count about three inches or four fixed links toward the operator. This is the location where you want to install the target magnet. Place the screw and plastic wedge into the fixed link. Make sure the magnet's large white centerpiece is facing toward the operator. Fasten the target magnet to the chain by tightening the screw. Verify the head of the screw is flush with the chain rollers. Press close to send the target magnet past the target sensor. A beep beep sound confirms the target is recognized and limits are now stored in memory. When the gate is closed, the target magnet must reside between the idler wheel and the roller chain sprocket as shown in this video. The target magnet must not enter the sprocket teeth. Before wiring AC power to SlideSmart DC, first follow the facility's lockout tagout procedures to verify power is turned off at the source. Turn both the DC and AC power switches to the off position. SlideSmart DC is factory set to 115 volts AC. If your source power is 208, 230, you must switch the voltage selector on the power board. The manual highlights the requirements for conduit location and wire sizing. Verify high voltage and low voltage wires are routed through separate conduits. A junction box provides the input power and convenience outlet wires. Wire nut the black AC power supply wire to the black lead wire and black service outlet wire. Then wire nut all white wires together followed by all green ground wires. Neatly organize the wiring into the junction box and replace the cover. When wiring is completed, turn on the main AC power at the source and then turn the DC and AC power switches on. With power restored, the SlideSmart DC slowly moves the gate in the open direction searching for the target magnet. If it does not see the target in the first six inches of travel, SlideSmart DC will reverse to close until the target is found. An audible beep occurs when the target is detected. The SlideSmart gate operator provides multiple capabilities through its user and installer menus. First, learn how to access the user menu by setting the close timer. To access the close timer display, press the menu button once. Operator status displays, such as operator type, battery voltage, and cycle count, scroll past until the close timer appears. To set the close timer within a range of 1 to 99 seconds, use the Select and Next buttons as you have done during the initial setup. Press the menu button to exit and return to Run mode. Consult the manual to learn about the 12 basic functions in the user menu. Next, we will show how to access the installer menu to adjust the operator speed and IES sensitivity. To access the installer menu, press the menu button twice, which takes you directly to the close timer display. Press the open and reset buttons at the same time. Release the buttons and the learn limits display appears indicating you are now in the installer menu. Press next to scroll through the various programmable items until the open speed display appears. Use the select and next buttons to change the speed setting. 
Press Select to accept the displayed setting. Press Next to move to the Close Speed display. Adjust the setting and then accept it by pressing Select. The SlideSmart DC operator's open and close speeds can be adjusted one quarter foot per second higher or lower. Note that only user class three and four sites are allowed to increase to one and one quarter foot per second. Continue pressing next to cycle through the installer menu options until IES sensitivity is displayed. IES stands for Inherent Entrapment Sensor. If the gate encounters a resistance to motion, the motor current increases requiring more power to overcome the obstruction. The IES sensitivity defines the range of overcurrent that is allowed above the normal running current. Settings range from 0 to 9, with 0 being the most sensitive, intended for light, smooth rolling gates, and 9 being the least sensitive, intended for heavy or poor rolling gates. To verify that the inherent entrapment sensor is working properly, press the close button. As the gate travels close, push on the gate. The gate should immediately stop in reverse direction for two seconds. The display will flash safe mode. In summary, press the menu button once to access the user menu. To access the installer menu, press and hold the open and reset buttons while the close timer is displayed. One last thing. If the chain is ever replaced or the target magnet lost, the open and close limits must be reset. In the installer menu, change the learn limits function from 0 to 1. The display will blink, clearing previous settings, and send you into the learn limits mode. Follow procedures as outlined earlier in the video to set new limits. Connecting peripherals, such as access controls, photo eyes, and loop detectors are not covered in this video. Please consult the manual for more information. When all accessory connections and programming is complete, protect the contents of the control box by sliding its plastic cover back in place. Note the location of the reset button, which is used to clear the entrapment alert buzzer. The reset button is accessible through the side of the cover. Replace the operator's cover and lock the key latch. Thank you for taking time to view High Security's SlideSmart DC installation video. We hope you have found it informative and useful. It is impossible to cover all the ways to program and utilize the incredible, inherent power built into SlideSmart DC. But we hope this short overview provides a basis to pique your interest and continue supporting High Security's family of high quality, highly secure gate operators. For more information about high security and its diverse line of gate operators, please visit www.highsecurity.com or call High Security at 1-800-321-9947.